Leroy Sibles, welcome to Profile. Thank you so much. Glad to be here. Really, really appreciate having you here. Reggae legend, right in front of us. Over living, living, legend. living legend, yeah. living legend. Yeah. Over 50 years of experience in reggae music and production, all sorts of the facets of, you know, of, of music. Um, pioneering influential reggae tracks, including School Girls and Gunman Coming to Town as part of the Heptone specifically, played a key development, a key role in the development of root reggae and the global recognition of Jamaican music. And I want to talk a little bit about that as well. And your own successful um, solo career with notable albums and performances as well. And overall, I can say, instrumental in shaping the reggae genre and mentoring emerging artists as well. And we'll also get an opportunity to talk about that uh, but first, I want to talk about uh, the roots of all of that, because that is, I mean, magnificent achievement across, to be synonymous with the genre of reggae. Where did all of that start? Well, Trenchtown originally, right? But I, I have a story that tells it all. I used to have an occurring vision, a, a dream, Mm -hmm. You know, people say it's a dream, you know. And from I was like 11, 12, and it kept happening over and over right through my life, even when I was even doing music, and it, it's about me floating about the height of a telephone pole, you know, the, uh, yeah, and a um, crowd would gather. I wasn't flying, I was just floating, you know. And um, crowd would gather and be pointing at me, and I could never understand it. I, re I, I look back and see, you know, the, the things that I've done within the business, you know, and um, seeing how, how the career, I've, where my career have, have taken me. And I, I look back and I said, this was my destiny I was seeing. Find myself singing to 20, 25, 30,000 people. Me on stage, and everyone is pointing, and, and this time now it's phone, and <laughs> you understand? At the one individual. So it has manifested itself. So you just stopped. I, I, I can't really understand what you mean. Like yes. just a vision of something happening, and when it's happening, it feels like you've been there before, like deja yeah, vu. Yeah, yeah, like a deja vu, like deja vu. But let's talk about um, early life, though, as we, as we look at how that vision has manifested, mm -hmm. how it's, you know, you've actually seen this thing that you mm -hmm. thought of happen in your own life. First early life, I'm mm -hmm. growing up in Trenchtown. Yeah. I, I want to start by just asking about that, the, mm -hmm. the last name. Mm -hmm. Siblings. Uh, siblings, yes. Very unusual. I, I said, have three versions. Three versions. Just like songs, you know? Mm -hmm. We have many versions of Kochi. Mm -hmm. I have three versions of my surname. <laughs> it's Leroy Siblis. Siblis, my, my, my sister says, because she, she speaks like my dad, you know. And that, that Siblis is S-I-B-B-L-I-E-S, right? And that's his name. That, he carries that one. I, I, I end up with... LES, that's, that's my, I, I use that now, I consider that as my, my, my um, singing name, my, my, yes. <laughs> my public name. Well, what's on my, my passport is L-I-E-S, S-I-B-B-L-I-S. That's, that's my official name. So Sibles, S-I-B-B-L-E-S, S-I-B-B-L-I-E-S, and S-I-B-B-L-I-S. Sibles, yes, wherever it comes from, in terms it, it of the spelling of the last it, it, name. It's all pronounced almost the same. You grew up in Trenchtown. Yes. In Trenchtown. What was it like? What, what was it like growing up in Trenchtown? How did that connect with you going on to do music? Okay, well, um, leaving Kingston Senior School, my mom took me, you know, we, we, got to, we got to put it all in there quickly. My mom took me to learn um, arc welding, you know. Before that, she, t <laughs> before that she took me to, to learn, uh, she took me to, uh, over Jonestown, you know, to learn mechanics. And um, I was fired like the, the first week I got there because at my lunchtime, the, the, the boss went out and I, I, I took the, 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 the acetylene torch. I was cutting up some oil cans and making, um, making you know, some little cups and all them things. When he came back, he was mad. He was crazy. He was mad. He said, 
you know, we think my guess here. What are you doing? You know what? Go on. So that was a short. That was a short thing there. You know. So she she took me again. You know, um, to uh, a, a new plant was opening. You know, a, a welding plant, and that was Gem Road and Maxfield Avenue. And uh, but while I was there, I, I developed fast learning this this trade. In no time, I, I was making gates and grills and you know stuff like that. I I I, I got a a job that was given to me personally, you know, because of, because of how, how fast I develop. You so know. you're doing better at this job than at yeah, the first yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, I, at least I was there for a while. <laughs> I was in there. So. But the, 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 the musical part of that, no, we had a blacksmith, you know? And um, I enjoyed working with him. He was the one who was, you know, doing the, 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 the design, special designs of, you know, what we're going to put in, 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 in gates and stuff, mm -hmm. right? He was, he was a guy who do all the bendings and, you know. So I was the apprentice, so I was on the sledgehammer, you know. I would beat and he, and he would shape. So he had a smaller hammer. Yes. And, and we were working on a thing called an anvil. So when I would go wham, he would go piping, wham, piping, <laughs> ping, wham, piping, piping, wham. And he was musical too because it wasn't just ping ping, you know what I mean? Was it something that you were planning or something you were just doing naturally? This was just happening naturally, you know? Because he was musical too and I, I had to be, be on time on what I was doing. So I had to come down, wham, ping 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 ping, and he was shaping with, so, so this was like, like, um, like, like Naya Bingi. You're naturally making music. Yes. I, I have to stop here because we're running over for the first segment. <laughs> I want to come back to that idea, but we have to take our first break yes. on profile. My okay. guest is Jamaican born musician, producer, and legendary reggae artist Leroy Siblings. And we're back with you on the other side of these messages.